A is the mother of B, B is the sister of C, D is the son of C, E is the brother of D, F is the mother of E, G is the daughter of B and H has only two children B and C. This is the passage that is given and the questions are how is F related to H, how is C related to E and how is B related to F. So let's start with the first line of the passage that is A is the mother of B. So let's write A here. Hmm. And it is said A is the mother of B. So obviously if she is a uh, mother that means it will be a female and A is the mother of B. So we will write it at like this B. Now it says B is the sister of C. Again here B is said as the sister of C. That means B will be female here because B is sister and sibling of C. So we will write C here. But here the gender of C is not specified. So let's keep it as it is. Now again the next line is D is the son of C. So if D is the son of C we will write it like this D here and since D is the son so it is a male. We will write it with a square. Now the third line is E is the brother of D. If E is the brother of D then E and D would be siblings and since E is said to be brother so it is male will denote it with a single line. So D and E are siblings here. Now the next line is F is the mother of E. We have E here and it says F is the mother of E. So if we write here F and since F is the mother so we will denote it with a circle we will denote a down arrow and since Previously it was said that D is the son of C and now it says E is the son or like F is the mother of E. So C will be the father and C is the father, F is the mother that means they are a couple. So we will denote it with a bidirectional line. Now moving on to our next part of the passage that is G is the daughter of B. Where is B? B is here. And it is said that G is the daughter of B. So we will write it G like this and since G is the daughter, we will denote it with a circle here. Now it says H has only two children B and C. See we have B here, we have C here. And we know that A is the mother of B. And it is said that it has uh, H has only two children B and C. B and C are here and we can write H here and since A is the mother so H will be the father to have two kids that is B and C since A has a daughter B which was initially told in the first line. So H is the father, A is the mother so A and H will be husband and wife and we can even use this to denote B and C being kids of A and H. So finally our whole complete diagram is done. So let's move on to our question. So the first part of the question is how is F related to H? So where is F here? F is here. And where is H? H is here. Since we know that B and C are kids of H and we know C is the son and H is the father and F is the wife of C so F will be the daughter-in-law of H so we can write here daughter-in-law now moving on to our next question that is how is C related to E where is C? C is here and where is E? E is here so if we start from C and if we move on to E, we will see C is the husband, F is the wife and E is the son. So obviously C will be the father of E. So second is father. 
Now third part of the equation, how is B related to F? This is B and this is F. Since we know B and C are siblings and F is the wife of C, so again F will be sister-in-law of B. So B will be sister-in-law of F, either way you can say. So it will be sister in law.